Hello everyone, Jerkyo here, and today we're just going to have a short discussion uh, about the old soldier cinematic that just came out uh, yesterday uh, that focuses on Sour Fang. So if you haven't seen it, check the link below. Uh, I've got uh, right, right there in the description, there's a link, links to the video. Uh, go check it out, and it'll give you really a lot more detail about uh, Sour Fang and his motivation, stuff that, stuff that we kind of knew, but, you know, just really fleshes out the character a bit more. And, of course, we get to see Zappy Boy a little bit, so that's always nice. So, the the cinematic starts, and it's, you know, Jernosh, or not Jernosh, wow, um, Varrock Sourfang is, is sitting on the walls in Undercity, you know, the, the siege is about to happen, is, and he's remembering his son, and, and he's remembering how, you know, his, his son, his, he died in uh, glory. If you don't remember... Uh, Jernosh Sourfang, Varrock Sourfang's son, uh, he died back in Wrath of the Lich King during the Wrathgate quest line in Dragonblight. Uh, all the quests in that zone led up to that massive battle uh, right outside the Wrathgate, that really cool uh, cutscene where we saw Jernosh get killed by Arthas, by, you know, Lich King at the time. And then, you know, he, he eventually gets turned into a, a death knight and, and whatnot but we see there like you know he's fighting with the honor that his father instilled in him you know he's fighting with the alliance happily even uh seemingly to 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 take down the the undead you know they're helping each other and we see that a lot with with old sour fang you know with with the one that we're following around now and and you see him mention that you know his his son died uh you know he, he died with honor, you know, in, in glorious battle. And he regrets not being able to, to do that himself. He, he reminds me a lot of Brock Cigar, how Brox was sad to still be alive, basically, after all of his friends had died, all of the things he's done throughout his time. He's sad that he hasn't been given the chance to, to die in combat, you know, with, with honor. And it seems like Sourfang is experiencing the same thing, except now he's, you know, he's being forced to do stuff in his past, and even more recently, he's uh, basically just following along with this seemingly crazy war chief. This, uh, just removing the option for him to, to die in, in combat. And we see with him top, talking with Zappy Boy, you know, all the stories that Zappy Boy's heard about Sourfang from his father, about how just awesome he is. And and now when he's talking to them, he sees this angry old warrior who just wants to die. He wants to try and hold on to some semblance of honor because he knows what they've done, you know, with the burning of the tree, uh, with the burning of Teldra, so with the killing of all of those civilians and just... Uh, ruining uh, ev everything that he believes in, basically, you know, how he attacked Malfurion from behind, stuff like that. He he regrets it, and he just wants to die with as much honor as he can hold on to. And it seems like Zappy Boy, he kind of, you know, he, he awakens those memories, um, you know, live, you know, fight with honor, and and we see at the end, you know, how Sour Frank, he roars, and He's ready for the for the coming uh, conflict, which seems like it happens basically right before the Siege of the Undercity starts. So we should get to experience this uh, very soon. Um, but, you know, it's, Sour Fang's ready. He's going to fight with, with everything he can. He's going to fight with honor for the Horde and, and I mean, probably try and not not try and die in combat but try and live you know fight with honor and if he dies he'll know he'll have died with honor so so what do you think about this we're seeing this this old warrior he's been around for forever you know he fought in the third war uh, against the the undead or, you know the scourge and the burning legion way back when you know the the mount hyjal days of w warcraft 3 He's he's seen all of this stuff. He's he's been around since the beginning of WoW, essentially, um, and he just ha he has so many regrets. He's he's seen the horde go through so many changes, and the changes he's seeing now, 
are the ones that he can't get past. They are the ones that are finally making him give up. And, and stuff happens in the Siege of the Undercity uh, that we won't talk about now. Um, but I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I feel like this you know they're they're fleshing out sour fang's character so much more just as much as they are with sylvanas uh you know with with her cutscene that we saw uh last week you know fleshing out their motivations their the way they think how they are as as characters you know they're they're giving them real personalities so were they setting him up for something or do they want him to be more than just this the old uh, this old orc in the horde, this this great general. Um, you know what 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 are we looking at here? I I don't know. Uh, I I I hope they're not setting up another war chief because I feel like we go through those very quickly nowadays. But I don't know. It's it it's hard to tell. He could maybe he's going to try and exert more control uh with sylvanas you know like how he saved her with malfurion he could have waited see how that battle played out but it kind of looked malfurion like malfurion was kicking her ass and if he'd waited sylvanas would be dead uh he could have spoke up more at the at the burning of, of the tree but would she have listened and i feel like sylvanas is the type that if she thought uh sour feng was gonna betray her or potentially turn on her she would just get him out of the picture uh but again you know we'll we have to see how how much more it plays out but wh what do you guys think uh you know you comments below let let me know like let's let's make this a discussion where do we see this going with the character and the horde because we even got to see with uh with zappy boy how a lot of these younger uh probably especially the trolls the tauren the orcs um how they look up to Sourfang, you know this this old warrior who's just an, an incredible fighter he's you know, steeped in honor, and and you know he he is the ideal of the horde. So so, what do you think? What what do you think they're trying to do with this character? What is the point of fleshing out Sourfang so much? And as an added bonus, we got to see more Zappy Boy. Hopefully, he makes it through the siege, and and they maybe they'll flesh out another troll for us. Um, but thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, I don't know. Big, big, big stuff we've seen coming. I, I don't think I've, uh, I've had so much. You know, just thoughts running through my head uh, at the beginning of expansion in a long time because they're making us really attached to these characters. Uh, they're trying to give them motivation. So there's, I mean, so far. You know, we're not necessarily like, yes, Sylvana seems like the definitely a bad guy, but she has motivations. Um, and they're trying to give us, uh, you know, two, two sides to the story. So uh, thanks again. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you've not done so already. Uh, and I hope to hear from you in the comments. And, and let's, let's make a discussion of this. Thanks. Bye-bye.